The Penn Cartilage Center has two primary components. It has a research component and it has a clinical treatment component. And the research component has basic science specialists, engineers, translational research specialists that are constantly trying to advance the field. And then there's the clinicians evaluating patients and treating patients one-on-one. -on -one. And the other part is coordinating research and cartilage repair to try to help patients thousands at a time or millions at a time. There's a little rim of cartilage around these defects, which is similarly not healthy. Autologous chondrocyte implantation is one of the most exciting uh, technologies. The procedure involves sewing a collagen cover over the defect and then injecting the patient's own cells under that defect. So the repair is done with all the patient's own cells. I'm excited to see the patients that I've already treated at five years and 10 years and 25 years and make sure that the cartilage is durable and it's holding up well and that they're maintaining an active lifestyle. The autologous chondrocyte implantation has been performed since the 1990s in Sweden. And some of those patients have been followed for 20 to 25 years. Many of them were elite soccer and hockey athletes in Europe, and they still are doing well with their native knees. And then I'm excited to see as the technology gradually change and develops further, if the patients are doing uh, better or worse and are we moving in the right direction with our advances. And that's the biopsy site, that's where we took the cells from. See how that fills in because it was super narrow. This wouldn't, and it's, it's a weight bearing portion, this wouldn't do that well. The next generation of these autologous chondrocyte implantation techniques can be done through a more minimally invasive exposure. So the incision will be smaller and the graft can be glued in instead of sewn in. Ultimately, we'd like to be able to treat bigger and bigger defects successfully in older and older patients. The, the durability of these cartilage regeneration techniques is really the key. From the time of the surgery to the time to participate in all the exercises without limitation, that can take a year. So it's a, it's a large investment but life is long and I think it's worth it.